Guys, Project Cambria, aka Meta or Oculus Quest Pro is confirmed for release this October. Here's everything we know so far. First, about the name of the new VR headset. Project Cambria is the internal name used by Meta and it is not the actual product name. The official name of the headset will be announced at the actual product unveiling event. From data leaks, we know that the headset is most likely going to be called the MetaQuest Pro, which is a name used by Mark Zuckerberg himself. From the naming of the headset, Meta is most likely building on the already established brand, but this is an entirely new product line and it is not the successor to the Oculus Quest 2. So people calling this the Quest 3 is not correct. On that note, the successor of Quest 2, the Quest 3, will be released in the winter of 2023, so we still have over a year to go. There is a massive difference between the purpose behind Quest 2 and Quest Pro. The goal with the Oculus Quest series of headsets, so the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2, was to make the headset as cheap as possible and dominate the market as fast as possible. With the Quest Pro, the expensive high-end product is aimed at VR nerds like myself and other professional users focused on work and productivity. The goal of the Quest Pro is one day to replace Chromebooks and laptops, allowing users to take their office with them wherever they go. Meta sees VR and AR headsets becoming the primary way to get work done by 2030. For my fellow VR gamers, you will see a lighter, slimmer VR headset with improved PC VR support, better resolutions, and precise hand tracking to justify the higher price. Exclusive games just for the Quest Pro are not expected to come out. If you haven't heard, the new features of MetaQuest Pro will surprise you. Quest Pro will have new sensors that allow natural eye contact between avatars and real-time displays of facial expressions through eye and face tracking. These features will make the social experience much more realistic. Quest Pro will obviously include the pass-through mode, but this time it will be in full color thanks to the new high-resolution RGB cameras. The full color pass-through will enable a much better experience working or playing games in augmented reality. The Quest Pro also uses this new lens technology. Quest Pro will use pancake lenses which allow for a better display and optics while making the headset slimmer in design. For the displays, Quest Pro will have 2160 by 2160 pixels per eye mini LED displays. Basically what this says is that Quest Pro will look about 33% better than the Quest 2 with much cleaner colors. More into the technical features, the field of view will be about the same as Quest 2 horizontally but will be much higher vertically. It will also include 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, Wi-Fi 6E support, improved surround sound, better microphones with echo cancellation, 5000 milliamp battery, and the Qualcomm XR2 5G chip which provides 30% higher performance than the Quest 2. I'm sure you've seen what the Quest Pro headset will look like as you're watching this video, but what the controllers looks like might surprise you. First, on the headset, there isn't much to add but it's a black device with a halo head mount and a ski goggle like visor. Here are the leaked blueprints of the headsets for the technical guys watching this video. For the new controller seen in the official announcement video, you notice that it doesn't have the tracking rings you see with the Quest 2's controllers. According to leaks, the controller uses a new tracking system. The tracking technology uses integrated laser projections to cast an invisible infrared pattern into the environment which is detected by the cameras in the controllers. Basically, super cool new technology which allows the controllers to be tracked even behind the headset. More on the controllers, they will have a permanent battery installed that you can charge through a charging station. The question becomes, will the box include these charging stations or would it be sold separately? Because of the high spec of the headset, the price will definitely shock a lot of people. The official announcement of the price has not been made yet, but the components of the headsets alone cost around $780. When asked, Meta did deny the $800 price point and told us that the price will be significantly higher. From looking through many price predictions, the most likely case is that the price is over $1,000 for the headset and around $1,500 to include the controllers, charging station, and cable. The release date is just around the corner expected to be released in October, which was told to us by Mark Zuckerberg himself. According to sources, pre-orders will start at the Meta Conference and the sale to go on by October 25th. 
There are many VR headsets that will be rivaling the MetaQuest Pro in terms of hardware specs. If you're curious about the next generation of VR headsets coming out in the near future, check out this video here.